2021 Toyota Highlander Hybrid, the 2.5 liter. I'm doing the uh, air filter. Let's see, it's the 2021 with the 2.5. Yep, Highlander Hybrid Edition. And I'm doing the air filter. So first thing you want to do is come over here. I'll pop the hood and come over here. There's going to be these little uh, spring clips. You're just going to take your finger, your thumb, and push them off. All right, pop these off. There's these little... Uh, these little tabs in here that are going like that. You're going to lift this up gently and pull it uh, towards the back to get those tabs out. You don't want to break those tabs. And then when you can lift this up just enough to reach in here and then you could grab your filter and kind of snake it out. Just be careful. Don't put too much uh, stress on this air box, especially that boot it gets uh, old over time. Here's my part number for the air filter. This is a Toyota air filter. Check the description and comments for links to the filters. They sell these on Amazon, the Toyota ones. So we'll lift this air box up and then we will slide this guy in down here like that. Make sure it gets in all the way. Um, if it's not in right, you'll have trouble closing the tabs. I mean, closing the spring clips and stuff. So let's get these tabs in first. Just kind of uh, tilt it backwards and then it'll, it'll make those tabs go downwards and then you could just slide them into those holes. And then we will just lower this up front Alright, we'll just uh, put these clips back on. They should be pretty easy. I mean, they're spring, ta spring tabs, so they're going to be a little tensiony, but this should be fine. That's how you do your air filter. Now let's go ahead and move to the cabin filter. Uh, come inside the car. The cabin filter is located behind the glove box. So what you want to do is open your glove box and get anything out of it that you got. This is a, a little plunger thing. You have to pull this off it could be kind of tight sometimes and we'll get that out the way and then you need, you need to take both hands and squeeze both sides of the glove box and then lower it when you squeeze it you'll be um you'll be tucking in these little tabs on the side and then you'll be able to lower this all the way like this and then you could just kind of pull it off the uh, hinges there now here's where your cabin filter is located at here's the cabin filter access door take note of that arrow that says up um, when you put your new filter in if it has that sign that says up you got to put it in that direction Squeeze the tabs on the right, and then we can just pull the other side, uh, just gently uh, just pull it out like this. No problem. Now there's a tray in here. Pull this tray out. The tray, notice it says up with an arrow. Take note of that. Pull the tray out, and we'll pull this old filter out. Just kind of uh, get it out of here. Keep the tray. Try not to break it or nothing. Throw this old cabin filter to the side. And then we got our new one here. This is the part number. This is also a Toyota cabin filter. Again, check the description in the comments for links. Notice it says up with the arrow. So we're going to put it in that way with the arrow pointing upwards. Now, if you have an arrow that says airflow and it's pointing uh, down, then put it in with the arrow pointing down. Okay, that says up, up. Everything says up with the arrow up, so we're good. So let's slide this tray in here like that. And the tray should go in and then go upwards. Sometimes it'll not want to go upwards all the way. It'll sag down like that, and then you'll have trouble putting the access door on. So just, if that happens, just take it out, put it back in, take it out, put it back in until it kind of goes into where it needs to go. Like that. All right, so we'll get this in. Notice these little uh, spiky things. They go on the bottom. I put this side in first. Just kind of uh, put this in. This Putting this in on the left should be super easy if you're having issues. Then take the tray out and then put it back in and try it again until until it goes deeper in and then you can put the access door on no problem. If it's giving you problems, be patient. Like it does it to me all the time. I do these all the time and I it gives me these problem give me it gives me problems all the time. Alright, so we'll take that out. It finally went in. All I did is take it out and put it back in and it and it went in deeper and then I was able just to slide this on like that. Now we're going to put our glove box back on. Uh, it's important to get these hinges on. Um, sometimes you'll put them on and they'll feel like they're on, but you got to kind of push a little hard and then they'll like kind of snap into place. Um, so if you're having issues with closing it after you get them on, then they might not be on all the way. So what you can do though is get them on and then just push this upwards like this. Like that. And then you don't, you could just um, come put this plunger on. And once you put this plunger on, it should shut 
know how it was if you did it right if not just find out what's going on what's going on and fix it and sometimes the glove box goes crooked or whatever just make sure your hinges are good and that's it guys so i hope this video helps you out please uh subscribe show me some love thanks for watching about this new soap i've been using by a new company called quantum soap it's a men's soap company they make multiple different bars of soap with their own ingredients and fragrance they even have a dark matter bar which is more grittier if you're a mechanic you have a lot of dirt and oil in your skin a lot you can reach them at quantumsoapco.com free shipping on orders over 50 dollars these soaps are made in the u.s with all natural ingredients by hand no synthetic this synthetic that um, they've been great. They've hooked us up with a Guillermo Auto promo code. So if you head over to the website, type in Guillermo Auto in the checkout, you'll get 10% off. Again, uh, these guys are on Facebook, Instagram. Check them out. Check the links below. Thanks for watching.